Hi everyone, I'm Andrew Hancock and I'm a Salesforce Business Analyst at PulseSource. Today I'd like to share with you one of the Winter 22 release highlights, Customer Service Incident Management. This new feature helps facilitate the service and IT operations teams working together to resolve incidents quickly and efficiently. It helps to provide visibility to the related incident and customer data all within the Salesforce platform. Before I go any further, let me define what we mean when we talk about incident management. This term refers to the process used by DevOps and IT operations teams responding to an unplanned event or service interruption and the tasks those teams complete to restore the service to its operational state. In Salesforce, the new incident management functionality introduces three new standard objects, incident, problem, and change request. We'll take a look at each one to understand how they're used. The incident object is used to create and track major incidents or interruptions to service issues. These sorts of records typically contain the description of the incident and fields to indicate the urgency, impact, and priority of the incident. You could indicate the date and time the issue was detected, and obviously, if there are specific fields that your business needs to track, you could easily customize the page layout to meet the business needs. Once the incident record is created, the next step would be to create a problem record, which is where the team responsible for resolving the incident would collaborate to find the root cause. Once the root cause has been identified and a fix is developed, a change request record would be created, outlining the steps for a resolution. For customers who already have Service Cloud, you'll need to navigate to incident management and setup to turn the new feature on. Once toggled on, you'll be able to see the new objects and start getting to know the predefined fields on the default layouts. As I said earlier, it's easy to customize the fields and layouts according to business requirements. For customers who are new to Service Cloud and are only just creating their orgs following Winter 22 release, the incident management feature will already be toggled on for you. Let's now look at it as an example. On the Service Console, if we go into Incidents, we'll notice that we're presented with a list view like you'd expect with other standard objects. As I mentioned earlier, within the incident record, we have standard fields that the incident manager or operations teams would typically fill in to describe the issue. You could customize the incident record page to display the knowledge component where users could easily search for a related article that might help them resolve the issue. If we navigate to the related tab, we can see the incident history, relationships to any child incidents, problems, and change requests. These related lists can be customized so you can add or remove these sections. And in most cases, you have the ability to customize the columns except for the history related list. Next up, we'll move to the problem object and drill into a problem record. This is how you'd bring the appropriate team members together to collaborate and find the root cause of the issue. The aim of the problem object is to facilitate a systematic approach to investigate and diagnose the issue. Again, you could customize the record page to display a knowledge component for searching relevant articles or customize the related lists and the data within them. Lastly, we have the change request object. Let me drill into a record. On a change request record, we typically have the list of tasks that are completed in order to resolve the issue. Once a change request has been completed, you could potentially use flows to close related cases, incidents, and problems. Maybe you'd use a flow to send a notification to customers affected by the outage. There are loads of possibilities and all are straightforward to configure with clicks, not code. 
That's it for customer incident management. For the full list of updates, please check the release notes. And thanks for watching.